join us on Patreon and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. In the stillness of a star-filled night, somewhere above the blue expanse of the Earth, hundreds of satellites quietly orbit our planet, beaming signals that guide airplanes through clouds, ships across vast oceans, and people down bustling city streets. The system that makes this all possible, the Global Positioning System, or GPS, is often attributed to a handful of engineers and government agencies. Yet, behind this marvel of modern navigation lies a buried legacy, a story of a brilliant black mathematician whose groundbreaking work in orbital mechanics and precise geolocation laid the unseen foundation for the GPS technology we take for granted today. His name was Dr. Gladys West, a mathematician whose genius was long overlooked, whose contributions were hidden beneath layers of institutional neglect and quiet erasure, and whose equations quite literally mapped the world. Though history has begun to whisper her name again for decades, her story remained confined to military archives and forgotten government records, her brilliance eclipsed by those who took credit for what her mind made possible. To understand how deeply her influence shaped our modern world, one must travel back to the mid-20th century, a time when the idea of a black mathematician, especially a woman, being involved in cutting-edge scientific projects for the U.S. military was almost unthinkable. Born in 1930 in rural Sutherland, Virginia, Gladys May Brown grew up in a time and place defined by the harsh realities of segregation. Her parents were farmers, and her early life was marked by hard labor and the constant reminder that the opportunities available to her would always be limited by the color of her skin. Yet even as a child, she showed an extraordinary gift for numbers and logic. Her teachers noticed her precision, her quiet determination, and her relentless curiosity about how things worked. She once recalled that what motivated her most was the desire not to end up picking tobacco or working in the fields like her parents. Mathematics was her way out, her way forward. Gladys graduated at the top of her class and earned a scholarship to Virginia State College, a historically black institution. There, she excelled in mathematics, a subject that few women, black or white, dared to pursue at that time. After earning her bachelor's degree, she began teaching, but her ambitions soon drew her toward research. When she returned to earn a master's in mathematics, the United States was entering an age of technological competition unlike anything before, the dawn of the space race. The Soviet launch of Sputnik in 1957 sent shockwaves through the American scientific community, triggering massive investments in aerospace, satellite, and missile technologies. It was during this time in 1956 that Gladys West was hired at the Naval Proving Ground in Dahlgren, Virginia, now known as the Naval Surface Warfare Center. At Dahlgren, she entered a world dominated by white men, where black employees were rare and black women rarer still. In fact, she was one of only four black employees in a workforce of hundreds. Yet this quiet, determined woman quickly proved herself indispensable. Working in the same era and environment that produced the famed hidden figures of NASA, Gladys became part of a generation of black mathematicians whose contributions to science were systematically minimized, dismissed, or outright stolen by others. Her job at Dahlgren involved performing complex mathematical calculations to model the shape of the Earth, what scientists call the geoid. This was no simple task, for the Earth is not a perfect sphere. Its surface bulges and dips due to variations in gravity, mountains, ocean depths, and the planet's rotation. To accurately predict satellite positions and navigation data, scientists needed a precise mathematical model of Earth's exact shape. Drive West's work focused on precisely that problem. She developed algorithms to correct satellite data, reducing errors that arose from the planet's irregular shape. Her calculations allowed computers to generate more accurate geodetic models, mathematical descriptions of Earth's surface that could be used for missile targeting and, later, for global positioning systems. At the time, however, this work was shrouded in military secrecy. The U.S. Navy's need for accurate missile guidance during the Cold War drove much of this research, and the mathematicians who made it possible were rarely acknowledged publicly. In 1978, West became the project manager for the CSAT Radar Altimetry Data Analysis Project, 
one of the first satellites capable of measuring ocean surface height. Her leadership on this project produced detailed models of the Earth's surface, and those models directly influenced the satellite-based systems that evolved into the GPS network. Without her work on the mathematical modeling of the Earth's surface, the satellites that orbit our planet today would not be able to determine your exact position when you open your phone's map app or when an airplane navigates across continents. But as with so many stories of scientific innovation, credit rarely flowed toward those who worked quietly behind the scenes. The GPS system, formally developed by the U.S. Department of Defense in the 1970s and 1980s, was publicly credited to engineers like Roger Easton, Ivan Getting, and Bradford Parkinson. Their contributions were indeed significant, but the computational groundwork that allowed GPS to function, calculations of satellite orbits, error correction models, and Earth's precise geometry, was the product of Gladys West's labor. Her mathematical algorithms literally made GPS accurate. Yet for decades, her name was absent from the public record, her equations buried in classified technical reports. It was not until 2018, more than 40 years after her work laid the foundation for the world's satellite navigation systems, that Dr. Gladys West was inducted into the Air Force Space and Missile Pioneers Hall of Fame. The revelation of her role came almost by accident, when a colleague at a community event mentioned her name and began asking about her work. Once researchers began digging into the archives, they discovered that the equations underpinning many of the early satellite geodesy programs were authored or supervised by West. This discovery sparked renewed recognition, but by then, decades of scientific awards, patents, and institutional credit had already passed to others. The theft of her intellectual legacy, however subtle and bureaucratic, mirrored a broader pattern in American history, the quiet erasure of black brilliance from the nation's scientific narrative. Many of the greatest black minds of the 20th century, from mathematicians to engineers and inventors, saw their contributions either ignored or reattributed to white counterparts. West's story echoes those of Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson at NASA, of Garrett Morgan, whose traffic signal innovation reshaped modern transportation but was stripped of recognition, and of Dr. George Carruthers, whose ultraviolet camera experiment was used during the Apollo 16 mission but remained little known. In West's case, the theft wasn't a dramatic act of plagiarism. It was institutional invisibility. Her work was labeled as supporting calculations or technical assistance, buried in the fine print of military reports, her authorship omitted in public documents. The world celebrated GPS as a symbol of technological mastery, yet the black woman who made it possible remained an anonymous footnote. By the time she retired in 1998, West had witnessed the technology she helped create transform nearly every aspect of human life. From smartphones to autonomous vehicles, from disaster relief to precision agriculture, GPS became the unseen heartbeat of the modern world. Still, she remained humble about her achievements, attributing her success to diligence and faith. You never think that what you're doing will impact the world, she once said in an interview. You just keep working and doing what you're told. Yet her modesty should not obscure the scale of her genius. The mathematical rigor required to map the geoid to define the planet's precise shape using only satellite data and equations was staggering. Her calculations involved integrating vast sets of satellite observations, correcting for gravitational anomalies, and creating models that could predict positional errors of less than a few centimeters. In the 1960s and 1970s, this work was done largely without modern computing power. Instead, West relied on room-sized IBM computers, punch cards, and handwritten notes. One error could take days to find and correct. But she persevered, methodically refining her models until they reached unprecedented levels of precision. Her contributions became the invisible scaffolding of GPS, a system so ubiquitous that its origins are almost forgotten. Every time a delivery driver finds a customer's address, or a search and rescue team locates a missing hiker, or a spacecraft navigates beyond Earth's orbit, West's legacy echoes in the background. She may not have written her name on the satellites themselves, but her mathematics is embedded in their very operation. In the broader context of history, her story serves as both inspiration and indictment. 
It exposes how scientific institutions, especially in the mid-20th century, systematically excluded and devalued black intellectual labor. It challenges us to confront how racial and gender biases not only shape social hierarchies, but also distorted our collective understanding of innovation and progress. The erasure of Gladys West's name from the narrative of GPS was not an isolated oversight. It was part of a structural pattern in which black excellence was often appropriated and recast through the lens of whiteness. Today, as digital historians and educators work to restore her legacy, Dr. Gladys West stands a testament to perseverance and brilliance in the face of exclusion. Her journey from a tobacco field in Virginia to the heart of one of humanity's greatest technological achievements is a story that deserves to be told, retold, and celebrated. Because behind every satellite orbiting Earth is the enduring imprint of her mind, a black mathematician who saw the world differently and reshaped it through the quiet power of numbers. The theft of her recognition may have delayed her fame, but it could not erase her impact. The world may have stolen her credit, but it could never steal her truth. The GPS in every pocket, the coordinates that guide every traveler, the digital maps that knit humanity together, all bear silent witness to the genius of Dr. Gladys West. And as history slowly corrects itself, her name, once hidden, now shines as brightly as the satellites she helped bring to life.